Hello again viewers. Well this time we're going to look at a camera from about 1975 which is the Konica Auto Reflex TC and a couple of lenses that came with it. These were donated to my boy some years ago. We'll look at the camera features first. Now this is a single lens reflex camera of course and it has the famous 50mm hexanon lens. This is a 50mm 1.7. It, it has a nice delayed action on it. You wind it on first, press the delayed action and a few seconds later the shutter should fire. Now the delayed action on the Konica has a very good feature which I shall show you. Take, remove the lens by pressing the lens release button. Here you have the, the delayed action which will put the mirror up first. The mirror will go up before the shutter fires. There we are, the mirror's up. Now the delayed action's buzzing around. You'll see the mirror come down. That prevents any vibration and that's a very good feature. Here's the lens release button that I showed you. On the side of the camera here, you've got a 3mm coaxial flash plug, which is only X synchronized for Xenon, that stands for electronic flash. And that's very useful as well. Lots of cameras don't have that anymore. On the top, we've also got a hot shoe, which is used for sliding in flashes directly and um, that will connect with hot shoe flashes. Now the other features are the shutter release dial here will only work if there's a red signal working there, showing there. You find that it will lock. Now you can take a picture. If this press the little release here, if that goes in and the red signal is not, you can't fire the shutter. It turns the metering on as well. The shutter and the metering is on when the red signal is showing. The shutter speeds only run from one eighth of a second here. They go to a thousandth of a second. The flash synchronizing maximum speed on this camera is 125th of a second in red because it has a vertically running shutter. Now when we open the back of the camera, I had to renew all the seals on this because all the foam seals had gone rotten. So it's sometimes a bit stiff to open. We'll show you how the film loading goes. This is quite quick, quite easy on the Konica. Just push in your film, pull out a little piece into the take-up spool here, start winding it to find a little peg. Make certain it's, it's into a little peg. It's uh, not easy doing it on a video. And then once it's in the little peg you've got to tighten the film with your thumb. Start winding. Press with your thumb here to tighten the film. Make certain it's going to go on the sprockets. That's winding on. You can flick that cross now. Close the back of the camera and wind on, fire one frame, wind on again and you should see the rewind knob going round like that if the film is transporting then you can start photographing even though it is on start because you will get extra frames of film by using that technique to load your film. When the film is finished you press in the rewind button here. Don't forget that or you will tear your film. Press that in. You can hold it in with your little finger. Then you start rewinding. Now I'll show you what is happening as the film is rewinding. It's going back into the cassette nicely. And then when you hear a click, it's come out of the take-up spool. And you can open the back of your camera. Like click. Wind it a little bit more and you open the back of your camera and there's your film with the tongue sticking out ready for processing. Now on the 
lens you have various apertures of course here we have a we just show this 50 mil lens first red dot to red dot and it's on you choose your aperture that you want to shoot at choose a shutter speed and you can get a manual readout in the viewfinder here by matching up a little little LED that comes on but there's no batteries in this camera so there's no little lights showing but it still works with no batteries if you set however to AE the green setting you now have shutter priority automatic exposure like you have on the Canon AE1 now that's on 125th and then it will measure the light going through the lens onto the cell and the aperture will vary according to the shutter speed you set and the sensitivity of your film here. That is shutter priority automatic exposure. Now it came with a couple of lenses. There's a 28mm and it comes with a very neat little box. Inside the little box is the lens hood. That screws on like that. And it, it's very good little lens when you line it up on your camera like that. And then there's a huge 200 millimeter lens, which is this one, and that is a 200 millimeter f4, but that is a hex R. That's a that's less elements than a hexanon. But I've taken some pictures with this 200 millimeter monster, and it is amazingly sharp. I've done some good shots with all these lenses. Um, you'll find it's very, very heavy to fit on, but they do take for sharp pictures. Here we are. There's the, there's the 200 millimeter. It still has the automatic setting for shutter priority there. Hold it, hold it like that under your hand. Support it because it's very heavy. Take your picture, and hopefully you'll get a prize winner because their lenses are very good. Well, just for a quick rundown on the famous Konica. Auto Reflex TC Fox. Hope you enjoyed it and um, look at my other videos. Thanks for watching.